The wall tools can be found in Revit on the ribbon underneath the Architecture tab. Now technically there are two separate buttons associated with the wall tool. The first button is the actual picture of the wall itself. And if that would be selected, it would activate whatever the last wall command that had been used. But the wall commands themselves can be found underneath the word wall and the little down arrow. So select on the wall tool, the actual word wall. When you do this, you'll find three separate types of walls that you can do. One's an architectural wall. The next is a wall structural. And the third is a wall by face. And based on whichever the last one you've selected and drawn in your drawing area is, that's the command that will activate if you ever select on the picture of the wall up above. So that we can see the difference between a structural wall and an architectural wall, first select on Wall Structural. When you do this and you scroll down on your properties, you'll see that the structural area underneath properties has some different structural components associated with it such as standard information related to the depth of the rebar covers and analytical analysis that can be applied to the walls. In other words, this is setting up your walls so that they can be designed by a structural engineer and have rebar inserted into them. Also, so that they can be exported out for structural analysis. Now, if you need to do these things, then using a structural wall is probably the proper way to go. On the other hand, if this seems to be overkill for what you're trying to accomplish, then using an architectural wall might make more sense. Hit the escape key on your keyboard once, hit it a second time, come back up to the wall tool and select on wall architectural. When you do this and you come down on your properties, you'll see that structural is currently grayed out. What this means is that you don't have to specify the depth at which the rebar is gonna be inside of the wall or you're never gonna to need to export out any structural properties to third party software for structural analysis. We find that most architects are going to be using architectural walls, while structural engineers are more likely to use the structural walls. The third type of wall that was on the list is a wall by face, and it's separate from these two types of walls. And if you just hover over that command for about a second, you'll get a flyout that shows what it does. By using wall by face, you select on the outside of that cylinder in order to create a wall that takes on the form of that shape. This is how you can go about designing some of your more complex wall types. You can find your wall command underneath the architecture tab in wall, remembering that the word wall will enable you to do either an architectural wall, a structural wall, which will give you those analytical properties, a wall by face, which enables some of the more complex walls, and then the picture of the wall up here on top will automatically execute whatever the last tool it is that you had used.